TDDS, Transdermal Drug Delivery System, also known as patches, placed on the skin to deliver a specific dose of medication through the skin and into the bloodstream. TDDS involves layers of the skin. The outermost layer is the stratum corneum or epidermis. The layer below this is the dermis. There are also the blood vessels which are on the subcutaneous layer. How does the drug get from the skin into the blood? Once the TDDS is applied to the skin, the drug is then released and travels to the stratum corneum, then to the dermis, then migrates to the capillary vessels and into the infected area. Now let's go to the lab. Let's formulate a transdermal drug delivery system. The bottom layer is the liner. It protects the patch during storage and is removed prior to use. Next is the drug solution which is in direct contact with the release liner. The following layer is the membrane. It is used to control the release of the drug. Next is the adhesive. It serves to adhere the components of the patch together along with adhering the patch to the skin. Lastly, the backing. It surrounds the drug and protects the patch from the outer environment. So why pick TDDS as your way of medication? It is easy to use, more improved and convenient patient compliance. Self-medication is possible. Avoid gastrointestinal tract absorption problems for drugs. Avoids first-pass metabolism. Rapid termination in case of toxicity is possible. Avoids in-drug fluctuation drug levels. Minimizes undesirable side effects. Reduces frequency of dosing. Maintains therapeutic level for 1 to 7 days. Controlled delivery results in reliability and predictable blood levels. Substitute for oral route. But, how come TDDS is not always preferred by patients? Local irritation. Uncomfortable to wear. Allergic reaction. Drug requiring high blood levels are unsuitable. Significant lag time, limited skin permeability, difficulty in long-time adherence, restricted to potent drug, drug with long half-life cannot be formulated, daily dose of more than 10 mg is not possible, cannot develop for drugs of large molecular size. Did you know that the first adhesive transdermal delivery system was approved by the FDA in 1979? These are the scopolamine patches for motion sickness. This method of delivery became widely recognized when nicotine patches were introduced in 1991 for smoking cessation. Nicotine patches deliver a constant dose of nicotine across the skin that helps to relieve the symptoms which are associated with tobacco withdrawal. 4 million deaths every year are experienced by the USA due to cigarette smoking. This makes nicotine patches popular and wide selling in that country. In 2014, the DOH in the Philippines distributed contraceptive patches to promote adolescent health and family planning. According to PNS Market Research, Transdermal Drug Delivery Systems market is forecasted to cross $60 billion in size by 2023. The use of transdermal patches is the highest in North America owing to heavy expenditure by the government on healthcare and supportive reimbursement policies, as well as in Europe and in Asia-Pacific. The market for transdermal drug delivery systems is expected to observe the fastest growth on demand in China and India due to the improvement in healthcare infrastructures and rise in the healthcare expenditures in developing countries. This growth is characterized by growing aging population, the number of patients with neurovascular disorders, increasing prevalence of chronic diseases, growing concern about painless drug delivery, rising adoption of new drug delivery system technologies, and benefits offered by transdermal drug delivery systems. USA, Australia, Canada, Europe are most stringent when it comes to global regulatory requirements for transdermal drug delivery system. This includes standard skin irritation, sensitization, adhesion studies with the patch itself in animals or humans. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this video.